Hey, how you doing? Justin, back with you again for another important little bit of advice for those of you on my beginner's course for when you're playing songs. And that is the importance of getting your chords right and ready for beat one. So if you're playing a song, no matter how fast it is, you want to try to get your strum right on beat one. Okay, sometimes it's not going to be possible. If you're really struggling, you're trying to get to the chord as fast as you can, but you just can't do it. But what you want to do as a general rule is start changing your chords with enough time that you can get the chord ready for the next strum on beat one. For example, if we're playing here uh, uh, E to A, and we're going one strum per bar, and we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. I can start the change after beat four because I'm pretty confident with that chord change. It's not a big effort for me. But I know when I'm playing lefty and I'm struggling with it, I'd probably have to start changing chords around beat three. So going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And that's okay. It's much better to be playing the chord right on beat one than it is to be late all the time. Because if you got like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, th it just becomes uneven. And it just, it's not as musical. Ideally, you want to be having a really strong strum either on beat one or where the chord changes. So if you've got a chord change halfway through the bar, you're gonna to have to, you know, do twice as many chord changes. You might have to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, that kind of thing. So you've got a little bit more chord changes. You have to think about where you're lifting them up. How soon do you have to start your chord change to get it ready for beat one? Okay, this is a really, really big deal again. When you're practicing your songs, that's what you want to think about. The first few times you're playing a new song with a new chord, it might be a big fumble fest. That's okay. It's not a big deal, nothing worth beating yourself up over. Just be like, yeah, I only just learned it. It's cool, it's going to be a little bit confusing and I'm not going to reach it in time. But as the week goes on and you're getting better and better, you want to start thinking about trying to get the chord shape ready for the start of the next bar so that you can deliver your strum on beat one confidently. It really will make it sound a lot more musical. It'll make your playing along feel better. When you're playing, you'll feel the beat better. You should be trying to tap your foot along, especially if you're using my beginner song course. You wanna be using the app there, put the song on. When the count gives you one, two, three, you're already preparing the beat by tapping your foot, moving your hand, maybe bobbing your head, getting into it. So you're feeling that beat, three, four, and one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, change. One. You might find it helpful. Some people find it helpful to deliberately try and change on beat four. So they think like one, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. So actually kind of thinking of your count like that. Okay, that can be really helpful as well. Do whatever it takes to get your chord sounding sweet on beat one.